for uh, to uh, to go to Club MX in t- 2023 for me was it was um, pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, I've been on factory teams a lot, and you know throughout my entire career, and I had a lot of the injuries in the last couple of years, and I felt like I needed uh, a reset with with the injuries. Um, we were always chasing lap time, lap time, lap time. You have to win championship, like do or die type stuff, you know, um, which is good. I mean, obviously I like that pressure, but um, I was also going down a lot, you know, and I had some really big injuries that had occurred. And I was like, all right, man, I, I just wanted to find the enjoyment back in the sport and do what I love. And for me, that was Club MX. Um, and I felt like the bike was competitive to still win. But also, too, with Brandon and these guys, they work on the fundamentals of the sport, uh, technique and everything. So um, I knew that I needed to improve on that side, too. I've always wanted to know what it was like to live in a tiny home, and I guess I'm experiencing that now. Um, but, yeah, it's for me, it's, uh, I grew up in Millville, Minnesota, and my parents owned uh, Spring Creek MX, and there was no cell phone service when I was a kid down in the valley there. So for me, it was always just like... Uh, kind of feels like the same thing you're definitely disconnected from the world and it's all about dirt bikes um but uh we're all pretty like-minded here <laughs> we're all wanting to ra- race dirt bikes and and have fun with it so um you know i think it's it's all about balance right and i'm able to try to disconnect a little bit you know there's a lot of really good facilities out there now the at this day and age but i felt like for me here at club we have sand um we have clay uh, the supercross tracks there's three or four on the property and the way that they get rough it's not just yamahas riding the test tracks we've got hondas we've got other motorcycles and stuff and we have different levels of uh, caliber riders so therefore it's not like i'm creating the line so i felt like for me it was more of a race day type of realistic condition where instead of day in and day out riding with your four teammates on a factory team and we all take the same lines, I guess. So for me, it was a little bit more of like a, I had a different mindset on it. So far for this year, it's kind of been one of those, uh, I mean, it hasn't been terrible, but it hasn't been like where I would like to be. Obviously you want to win, we're all competitive. That's what we sign up for. And, but uh, with my last two years, I haven't made it past round two. So that's two years of massive injuries and I've sat out the entire season. So um, we're starting to build some steam, I think, and get better. I finally got a fourth last weekend and I had to earn it. Um, so I feel good about that. And uh, yeah, we're, we're looking to finish out the end of the season a little on a little better note than this fourth, fifth, sixth. So we'll see what we can do. Yeah, it's definitely a, a never give up. And there's a lot of things sometimes, like I've been injured on race day and it's it was nothing that I kind of really did wrong. It was a racing incident because it's so, so many guys are so tight on such a small track and we're doing such gnarly obstacles that it's like that split second decision. And, and then next thing you know, you have to live with that, especially if you get hurt. So um, definitely it takes a toll. Uh, and when you miss time, um, you know, those guys are still racing and I'm on the couch. So I guess for me, it's like I've missed so much time that, uh, I, I can definitely tell like certain guys are dialed in that have been racing every race at, for a couple of years now. I don't necessarily enjoy Supercross. It doesn't come to me as easy as outdoors. Um, I think the results kind of speak for themselves, but I'm really good at Supercross still. And I think because, um, because I have to work at it so hard, it creates like a chip on my shoulder. And um, I think when we do finally get a win or if we win the championship next year or whatever like that, it's... Uh, it's going to be pretty special. I might do something crazy. <laughs>